And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Well, temperatures got up into the upper 60s and lower 70s today, but you see farther off towards the west, there's some warmer temperatures with highs in the mid 80s across the central and northern plains. That warm air will be transporting eastward and will be climbing up into the upper 70s and near 80 degrees over the coming days. We started off with a little bit of some mid-level clouds, then we broke up into some sunshine later on into the late morning hours, and we saw the blue skies. However, those blue skies will be coming to an end as we head into the next couple of days. The reason why we've got an area of low pressure off towards the west and that's pulling in the smoky skies back here from the west coast and that is going to provide us with a haze for the next couple of days. So this weekend we saw a lot of blue skies, the fresh air. Well now that's going away from all those wildfires that are still ongoing off towards the west coast. Ahead of a frontal boundary we are seeing a little bit of some light cloud cover moving eastward but you see more rain showers over parts of Minnesota. It does look like there is a chance of some rain showers as we get into the day for Tuesday. It looks like tomorrow should be pretty dry. A close look does show pretty quiet conditions, just a few fair weather clouds passing through. So overnight tonight, we have some of those light clouds that pass through, most of us seeing mostly clear skies. Then during the morning hours tomorrow, starting off pretty quiet as well. Then as we get later on into the afternoon and evening, we'll start to notice an increase in cloud cover from the west, gradually moving eastward. And then what happens late Monday night into Tuesday, we start to see a few light sprinkles that start to pop up in here especially up into the north woods. But then later on Tuesday, looks like a better chance of a few showers, maybe even some uh, brief moderate showers as we get into the morning hours tomorrow. But it appears after the morning, then we start to dry things out once again into the afternoon. Uh, temperatures will be cooling down into the uh, lower 50s tonight. And then tomorrow we'll start to warm up into the uh, lower 70s, but you still see that warm air off towards the west. That's still going to continue to slide eastward as we have that uh, warm front that moves in. Then tomorrow night we drop down into the upper 50s, so not as cool as what we'll see uh, for tonight. And then as we head into Tuesday, we're getting up into the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. For so some folks, this will be a little bit of an Indian summer because we did see our first frost and freezes of the season. And it does appear that above average temperatures will continue as you go into the uh, next several days before a little bit of a cool down looks like a week from uh, Monday. 67 right now with a wind out of the south at 13 miles per hour. Perhaps you're hearing it on the microphone, a little bit of a breeze out there. Sunset at 653 tonight. We've got 65 in Pembine. Most of us are in the lower to upper 60s. We'll pack us still holding on into 70 degrees. Uh, we are seeing those winds coming in out of the south between 10 to 20 miles per hour. The winds will subside just a little bit overnight tonight at about 10 miles per hour with temperatures falling down into the mid and lower 50s under just a few clouds. Therefore, tomorrow we'll climb up to highs into the lower 70s with mostly sunny skies. Later on in the evening, that's when we'll start to see a little bit of an increase in cloud cover. Gusts upwards of 25 miles per hour tomorrow. Uh, then fall arrives on Tuesday, Wednesday high of 78, then 74 on Thursday, 77 on Friday. Obviously, there's no Packers game tomorrow, so ignore that symbol. That was for today, and I just happened to forget to unclick the icon. But uh, that's a look at your seven-day forecast. Abby, back to you. All right, thanks. You know, you're just thinking Packers every day. We'll still have.